Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to run you through an example covering the axial capacity of single piles. So in this example we have a single pile which has been embedded into a soil and a pile is cast in situ. We have three layers of soil here, so the top layer is brown clay with a thickness of 4 meters. The second layer is dense sand with a thickness of 2 meters. And the last layer is grey clay with thickness of 2 meters as well. And the properties of each soil layer are given here. We also have a water table at a depth of 2 meters below the surface. And the pile diameter is 0 0.6 meters. So the equation for the ultimate axial capacity of a pile can be written like so. So PU is equal to PS of clay plus PS of sand sorry I just write this as brown clay here plus PS of grey clay plus PB of grey clay So PS corresponds to the total shaft resistance and PB corresponds to the total base resistance. And if you look at the portion of the pile that is in each that is in each soil layer, in the brown clay only the shaft of the pile is in contact with the brown clay, so that's why it's PS brown clay. Similarly for the dense sand, it's just the portion it's just the shaft of the pile. So that's PS of sand. And for the grey clay, both the both the sharp of the both the shaft of the the pile and the base are exposed. So that's why we have PS and PB for grey clay. So let's first find the total shaft resistance for the brown clay. So PS of brown clay. That's equal to FS AS. And that is equal to alpha Cu pi DL. And pi DL is the area of the shaft. And we use pi DL because the pile has a circular cross section. Now we know that the undrained cohesion of the brown clay is 30 kPa. So we can find alpha using this diagram here. So 30 is around here. And if we project upwards and horizontally, that gives us a reduction factor alpha of 1. So that's equal to 1 multiplied by 30 multiplied by pi multiplied by our, di our diameter was 0 0.6. And the length of the pile within the brown clay layer is 4 meters. And this works out to be 226 kilonewtons. Let's now find the shaft resistance in the dense sand. So that's equal to capital F multiplied by the overburden pressure multiplied by the area of the shaft. So to find F, we look at this table here. So we have dense sand and our pile is cast in situ. So that gives us an F value of 0 0.7. We don't need to worry about NQ because this only applies to the base of the shaft. And in our question, the base of the shaft lies within clay. So we don't need to deal with this. So that's equal to 0 0.7. Okay, and now to find the overburden pressure within the dense sand we need to draw a quick diagram. So if I have an axis here of over overburden pressure versus vertical depth. So the vertical pressure just at the top of the dense sand layer is 16 multiplied by 4. That's a unit weight of brown clay. Minus 2 times 9.8 because of the water table. 
So 16 times 4 minus 9.8 times 2. This works out to be 44.4 kPa. And at the bottom of the dense sand layer, we have to add 21 multiplied by a 2 and also subtract another 2 meters of the water table. So we'll have a value here. So that's 44.4 plus 21 times 2 minus 9.8 times 2. And this works out to be 66.8 kPa. So these pressures here are the pressures at the top and at the bottom of the dense sand layer. And when we're finding the total shaft resistance, we use the average overburden pressure within the layer of soil. So this gets multiplied by 44.4 plus 66.8 divided by 2. And now we're multiplying by the area of the shaft. So that's pi times the diameter, 0 0.6, times the length of the pile within the soil layer, which is 2 in this case. And this gives us 146.7 kilonewtons. Now we have the total shaft resistance of the grey clay, so that's the bottom soil layer. So PS grey clay, that's equal to alpha Cu pi dl again. So Cu of the grey clay is 120 kPa. So if we go back to this diagram, 120 is here. So that gives us a value of alpha of about 0 0.45. So 0 0.45 times 120 times pi times the diameter, 0 0.6 times the length of the pile within the grey clay, which is 2 metres. This works out to be 204 kilonewtons. Finally, we have the total base resistance within the grey clay. So PB grey clay is equal to CUB N dash AB. So CUB is just equal to 120 because the question doesn't state anything about the soil cohesion being different underneath the base of the pile. And now for N dash, we need to first calculate this ratio of the length of the pile divided by the diameter. So that's 8 divided by 0 0.6. That works out to be 13.3, which is bigger than 4. So therefore N dash is equal to 9. So 120 multiplied by a 9, multiplied by the area of the base, which is a circular cross section. So that's pi multiplied by 0 0.6 squared divided by 4. And this works out to be 305.4 kilonewtons. So now the total axial capacity of the pile is equal to the sum of these four values here. So therefore, PU is equal to 882.1 kilonewtons. And that's it for today's video. Hope this helps, guys.